Well, good afternoon. It's Andy Hudson. Welcome to Incentive Concepts Live. It is a Thursday. We're back. We do this every two weeks, and we'd like to welcome everybody for joining us. Again, Andy Hudson, Director of Marketing for Incentive Concepts. And we're in St. Louis. It's definitely summer here for sure. It's getting hotter every day. My teenagers are in full-on lazy summer mode. Hopefully, you're enjoying summer in your part of the country, wherever you are. We'd love to hear from you on the chat. Just plug it in there and let us know. Two weeks ago, we had an amazing episode with uh, three members of our team, and we talked about Gift Boxes That Give, which is a brand new program for us that benefits St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Great give back uh, component to that. And we encourage you to head on over to our blog, incentiveconcepts.com slash blog, and look at the announcement on that, which includes an embed of that IC Live video. Uh, lots of positive inquiries received already from gift boxes that give. And again, that component of that give back to St. Jude Children's Research, Research uh, Hospital is fantastic. So put some uh, questions in the chat. Oh, also put questions in the chat for our guests, if you haven't already. Um, we can put those in the chat and we will ask our uh, guests those questions. Now keep them rated PG-13, please. Uh, none of these are rated questions. All right, with that, let's bring our guests on here. So we have with Incentive Concepts, Kevin Hagen, our VP of Sales, and from Keystone Incentives, Dan Craig and Jeff Kirton. Hey guys, how are we doing? Hey Andy, doing all right. Right. all right, well, thank you very much for joining us guys. We really appreciate it. And as always, Kevin, my favorite co-host, my only co-host, but also my favorite. Uh, Kevin, partner in crime, you and I kind of team up on this, love it, enjoy it a lot. Uh, how are things going, first of all? Very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, last week's uh, the uh, um, gift boxing was really great. I mean, we've got a lot of great uh, ideas and inquiries from that. There's a lot of interest in it. So um, I think it's something that we've been trying to add for a while. As you know, we've been working on this hard for the last few months, but it's going to be a great product for us. And it's a great opportunity to really show a great way to give some, some uh, unique products. Wonderful. Dan, I'm going to come over to you. Uh, first of all, how are things going in your neck of the woods? And, and let everybody know exactly where you're coming at us from, too. Well, we're uh, coming uh, from Buzzards Bay, just uh, north of uh, Cape Cod. So I'm um, out of voice, a small seaside town. Um, but uh, work has been good, Andy. We're very busy. Uh, we've been quoting out a lot of kind of companies looking to give their employees a back to work uh, gift. To, to get them back and excited to come back to the office. So uh, we've got a lot of programs like that. We've done several big casino um, uh, quotes and opportunities, which has been very good. And events are coming back. So, you know, uh, it's been uh, quite a busy over the last, uh, you know, month or two uh, in that regard. Wonderful, wonderful. And anything, anything new or unique going on at Keystone Incentives? Absolutely. We uh, have a, a new member on our team. Her name is Vicki uh, Fleetwood, and she has about 13 years of industry experience. She comes over from the reseller side, which is a great perspective because she knows what resellers need and some of the um, requirements to do a good job there. So uh, we're trying to give her, her a quick brief tutorial about all our brands and uh, you know how to get onto that rep side of the business. But she's a quick study and she's doing really well. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, maybe she's watching today. Vicki, shout out to you. Welcome to the team. And we look forward to meeting you in person very soon. Um, Jeff, uh, how are things going with you and your family? Uh, everything's great, Andy. You know, I think, I think we're all looking forward to a post-COVID summer. Uh, the weather's been beautiful, hot already. Today, it's, it's temperate and kind of back to normal. But uh, looking forward to getting out on the road, taking a road trip with my son in about a week and a half down to the Smoky Mountains and uh, just kind of, you know, make our way around as we want and uh, really looking forward to it. So, well, yeah. well, that's fantastic. Smoky Mountains is a beautiful place. By the way, Kevin Powers already put in the chat. He said, Jeff and Dan are dreamy. So, Kevin, uh, <laughs> thanks for that, Kevin yeah. Powers. He, mu he must know you guys pretty well. He does. Yep. Yeah. He's been sending us texts as well. So we're getting, uh, we're getting our dose of Kevin. Tell Kevin uh, that uh, the client appreciation day isn't off yet. We might bring that back this year. Okay. And Mark W says two good looking guys. He must be talking about you and me, Kevin. It must be. It can't be those guys. <laughs> exactly. All right, Jeff, um, what types of categories or, or products or, or, or themes are doing well this time of year? 
Oh, goodness. Anything outdoor, fitness related, uh, you know, grilling, uh, outdoor games, um, barbecue sets, uh, fire pits, anything having to do with that kind of stuff. Excellent. We're going to ask a quick a viewer poll question here. Uh, and we put it in the chat as well, just to, to kind of keep, keep things going here. And so when it comes to promotional products, how many average impressions per month do you think a promotional product or promotional item receives? Do you have any ideas there, Kevin? Per month? Yeah. Uh, 200. 220. All right, two, good. 220. Okay. So I'll put that in the chat. How many promotional, uh, how many average impressions does a promotional product receive in a month? Um, you know, we have the answer to that. We're not going to give it away quite yet, but uh, we'll see about that. So, um, okay, we're going to read our first viewer question. Uh, Dan, it's for you. And Mary Pat asks, if you weren't in the p &I industry, what profession do you think you would be in? Uh, well, that's a pretty easy question for me. I think I would uh, stay in the, be a, a hockey coach. Uh, after I got done playing, I was the hockey coach at the Dawkins College. And I really enjoyed that. Um, and uh, over the last 10 years, I've been coaching uh, my daughter's uh, club teams. And I'm still am doing that now. I have one left uh, in club. So uh, I think that's a pretty easy call. I would stay in coaching. Wonderful. And uh, I'm a big hockey fan myself. I know your Bruins didn't do so hot last night. I mean, they had a great season. Uh, so congrats to, to them. And I know Tom is probably watching us from up in New York. He's an Islanders fan. So Hopefully he hasn't chirped you too loud about that. Uh, no, I get a little chirping from some other friends of mine up in that area. But uh, haven't heard from Tom yet. But uh, great series. I uh, love playoff hockey. It's so intense. Uh, it's so passionate. And I think that's what makes sport, uh, that particular sport, so fun to watch, especially live. You can get, ever get to a game. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's get to the uh, unboxing here. And we'll have other viewer questions first. Jeff, you're going to start us off today. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and open up that box? Hopefully you guys have a, a box cutter there or something. And while you're doing that, Kevin Powers is, is on a roll, guys. Um, he, Dan, he thought, you were gonna say, he thought you were going to say a model. I said Jeff, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, well, no, he said to Dan. Kevin, no, are you watching? Be, yeah, be, yeah, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now. What, what did you guys put in here? Okay, all right. Let's see what, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh wow! Okay, one of uh, oh, this is a good item. I like this. I item. love this item. Okay, here we go, Mr. Barbecue Barbecue Caddy. Uh, great item, fully functional. If for those of you uh, that may not be aware with the Mr. Barbecue brand, uh, known for their wood and uh, gas fire pits. Um, the end of summer series. Endless summer series. series. Love that. Uh, camp tools, grilling tools, and storage uh, essentials like this. This is a caddy uh, that I, I should probably have. Uh, I walk outside to my barbecue about 30 feet from the back door with stuff falling out and dropping and ketchup and all that. And you'd think I would have this. Uh, hold the paper towels, uh, you know, different condiments, plates all types of stuff. I mean, it, it's fully functional and just very, uh, very easy to use and makes things a lot easier. So, and now I'm eating out, we're eating outside a lot too. So uh, this, this, this could help a lot. This is a great item. Okay. So that's a Mr. Barbecue, uh, um, barbecue caddy. Barbecue Kevin, caddy. Have, Kevin, anything you want to add about that product? Uh, no, I think they kind of, you know, Mr. Barbecue is pretty well known for their fire pits that we sell a ton of. We um, sometimes ignore the accessories, and they've got some great ones. So this is this is their best-selling accessory at retail. Uh, it's a, one of our best-selling accessories as well. It's funny. I just I moved to a new house, and now I have to go down a flight of steps to get to my to get to my grill. So that comes in very handy when you have to do a little bit of movement, put everything in one place, and just take it all with you at one time. So great product for sure. Yeah, the, brand, the brand. If I could add one thing, uh, we also um, we also have a decoration capability now for the uh, fire pits. So there's more of a uh, universal cover. So if you are interested in decorating that for the future, I know a lot of people on this, uh, this live call would probably have some interest in the decoration aspect of that. So I just want to add that. 
Okay, thank you. Remember, put in the chat how many promotional or how many impressions a promotional product receives on average in the course of a month. Also, we're having a drawing for people to choose one of uh, these items that will be unboxed. So we'll tell you a little bit about that later. Dan, it's your turn now. All right. It's in your box. And we promised, we promised there's nothing alive in there. Okay. I, I think we it do. Should, it should be dead by now. Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> a ticking noise here, I think. You know? All right. Now let's see what you got. Oh, also, viewers, we want to hear what the theme, the theme of this box is once we start getting a few things in here. So we want you right. to see. This is actually a really cool item from Nordic Wear. Uh, first, let me start off because uh, Nordic Wear is a US company. They're based out of Minnesota. I think they were founded in the 1940s. 46. Well, family owned. There you go. And um, this is actually a two sided griddle. So it's an aluminum griddle. Uh, it has a flat side here, if you can see that. And it also has a little patriotic theme here. It looks like the Stars and Stripes Reversible Griddle. So this is, uh, this is a neat, really neat product. And I think uh, for the summertime outdoor, you know, maybe 4th of July, I think it would be perfect. Right. And go, goes well with the caddy, I would say. Right, Kev? Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Good, good combination of products great there. price points. These, these, are, these, these, I think, come in at like, I don't know, $27, $28 on, on a on place on something like this. Yeah. So this is something like everybody can use. It's a unisex item. Great for like casinos or a, a gift that the whole family can use. So, and it's U.S. made, so I'm sure they can make them up if we had a large quantity opportunity. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Jeff, you're up. Kevin, any other comments going on in the, in the comments? Um, no, nothing really yet. There's just a few people guessing some of the uh, numbers here, but we can get to that in a minute. Okay. All right. So Jeff, let's see what you have next. I know, I know we surprise you guys and I hope that's okay. This, this is kind of fun. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I, I'm definitely seeing the theme now. All right. So we've got uh, a, a bucket full of bean bags here. So these look like replacement or New bean bags. Uh, it's funny that you put this in because I was just going to use mine the other day with my son, and two were missing. So I really could have used this. Uh, but these are fantastic. Uh, Triumph. Th these are from Triumph. Triumph is one of Escalade's twenty plus brands underneath their umbrella. They hit an opening price point. So there's a lot of great uh, beach game items and and just great for casinos, pro loyalty programs, you name it. But uh, excellent starting price points um, that everyone is interested in. And, you know, cornhole is a big game. Most of us play, uh, all types of people play uh, with a beer in hand. And it's just a lot of fun. Uh, and especially now that we can get back out and do it together. Uh, it's a great yeah. item. Okay. Like it's great. like a dart. You can bring your own bean bags if you're going to play. You'll know, get used to the weight and, uh, and the, they look nice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, Kevin, um, it, I'm looking on the the platform here of the, uh, the Zoom, and it looks like we may have a surprise guest that's joining us. Did you are, are you seeing that too? I do see that. Oh, should should we go ahead and let our surprise guest in? Let's bring them in. Okay, uh, so guys, we brought a surprise guest today because you know when when, when you're talking about this brand that has uh, the bean bags. Um, we better bring on somebody that knows a little bit more about this stuff. So welcome Gloria French from Escalade Sports, everybody. She's connecting to audio still, but uh, we thought we'd bring her on and let her uh, say a few things about uh, these bean bags and, and, and maybe some other things. Gloria, you're still connecting to audio. Can you, can you hear us? Well, while she's connecting, Kevin, uh, yeah. Yeah. Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit more about Escalade Sports? There she is, Gloria. Am I here? Yeah. You're here. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. <laughs> so, Gloria, welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're up to. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Doing great, good. Gloria. Oh, thank you. Good. Good to see you all. You too. I'm and broadcasting so from uh, Club Maxwell to you guys today. Can you see the background here? Oh, yeah. That's Very right. nice pickleball courts and we actually have a couple gentlemen over here shooting a game of pool <laughs> well, that's well, we're doing our presentation from a pool table 
<laughs> that has a ping pong table on top of that. And believe it or not, we have some uh, darts in the background. I so. love it. I saw that. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, Gloria, Gloria is our awesome brand representative from Escalade Sports. And uh, so why don't, Dan, why don't you open your next thing here and see, um, see if Gloria hey. might, know, might, might have an idea of what it is. Well, I'm going to have to break this out this weekend for the pool. This is the uh, Monster Volleyball. Um, so it's just an inflatable volleyball. I think it's 16 inches big. Um, just a lot Very of fun. To, you know, to <laughs> bang up in the air, have some fun in the pool. Um, well, it, it comes with a, a little pump here, I see. It comes with a nice little pump. So this is everything you need to have some fun. Yeah, absolutely. That, that actually can be used in the pool, in the uh, at the beach, um, in the backyard. So yeah, good, good. Uh, it's a it's a little bit heavier weight. Um, it's a little bit different huh. fabric than um, just a regular volleyball. So it makes it really uh, conducive for younger kids as well. And uh, again, uh, in that patriotic theme. For sure. You, yes. Yes, you, yes, I think that. Uh, you know, maybe we should uh, have a little 4th of July party here, <laughs> Jeffrey. We got all the stuff. Let's I'm on it. my way. We're not going to ship it back. We're just going to have it here. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like Gloria wants to jump in the car and head your way. Jeff, what do you have next? All right, let's see what we've got here. It's more patriotic from Triumph. And we have the Rally Birdie set. So this... This for me is special because I grew up in Long Island on the beach, on Fire Island. All I did was play paddle ball as I, all the time. So this, this, look, this is similar to paddle ball, comes with uh, different birdies. I, I believe a short tail and a long tail. A uh, short tail for going faster, I believe. Long exactly, tail that is exactly correct. You guys weren't surprised by what's in these boxes. You knew well, I was in there. <laughs> I, I, I actually, played this it was something it was a different brand sorry but someone someone had this recently in a backyard yep. so yep. Um, so but what's yep. nice about that is is that it does have the different um birdie links so that you can the shorter one like jeff said makes it fly faster and the longer one is a little bit more controlled so that helps out so the whole family can get involved the the, the longer tail obviously would be uh, more conducive for the for the little ones that want to play sure. Okay. I, I, I just enjoy watching people try to play on a really windy day on the beach. Have a cold Bocci, beer. That's what you need on the beach on a windy day, right, Bocci? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and but, but before we get to the next one, Gloria, I just want to ask you, how are things going with Escalade Sports? Is business going well right now? Yeah, crazy. Uh, still, I mean, we still haven't. Uh, I, I guess we haven't seen a, a drop off since last we call it April 1st. So we're going on well over a year. Um, you know, we're going to work. It, it's great. We're going to have, we're going to experience some, a little bit different challenges this year with um, some of the things that are going on in the ports in China, but nothing that's not manageable and um, exciting. It's exciting times here. Okay. And we're going to be giving away one item from this uh, collection here to everybody. If you go to incentiveconcepts.com, slash unbox. So incentiveconcepts.com slash unbox, you can indicate which item from the box you want to win. Okay. And Gloria has been kind enough to donate several items. Does that sound okay to you, Gloria? I'm good with that. Actually, you caught me on a, on a generous day. I've got the big 6-0 coming up day after oh. tomorrow. So give the whole box away. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. Gloria. All right. Cool. So Gloria, is your birthday the 11th? 12th. 12, oh, day after tomorrow, okay. okay. Yeah, my, my, uh, I have a big, a big week for me. My, my daughter's uh, birthday is Friday, my wife's on Saturday, and we so have a, uh, a graduation party on Sunday, and then next Wednesday is my wedding anniversary. So, big, wow. Big Jeez, all right. you're, you're not going to have any time to play paddle ball or birdie ball there, Dan, but uh, Gloria just said it. We're holding her to it, so go in and uh, incentiveconcept.com slash unbox <clears> into <throat> And we're going to give away everything that has to do with Escalade from this box. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, who's next here? And uh, while he's okay. not taking any other yeah. going on, or? Okay. Hmm. All right. Oh, there this is uh, it's called the Patriotic Disc Flyer. I think in our neck of the woods, um, it's uh, we call it like a can jam, where it comes with a, 
a frisbee or a disc and uh, some uh, little uh, uh, I don't know, kind of tubes that Container. you set up. <laughs> buckets. Yeah. Buckets you, you set up. You try to fly it, fly it in between this little area right through here, or you can get it in the top. So a lot of it, this is a fun it, game. Uh, it is, and it's actually a, an offensive and a defensive game because one of the objects of the game is if you're standing. Uh, on the opposite side of your opponent, one of your, um, or I'm sorry, with your partner, you may try to knock your partner's disc into the container, or you can try to knock your opponent's disc out of the way. So it is fun um, for four people to get really involved in it. And, you know, it's a little bit more active than say a, a cornhole or bag toss. I don't know what to call it anymore, but uh um, it, it, it's a little bit more active game. It's a great game, great game for the backyard, for the campground. So once again, the patriotic theme. Um, just a general comment about the, the outdoor category for you guys and the listeners. Um, you know, we're finding um, over the past couple of years that, that, um, that at retail, this is becoming more of a year round category where it used to just be you know, on the shelves from April to, to September. I mean, we're finding retailers keeping this on the shelf, um, getting it in there as early as they can and keeping it well into the tailgate season. Um, and just a general comment about the patriotic games um, that was developed last year. They took a kind of a deep dive into what was going on in the market and kind of, you know, did some retail shopping and the, the, the displays at retail, there, there was no rhyme or reason. It was just a bunch of hodgepodge. You had traditional games. You had games like disc flyers. Um, so they, there, there was no continuity to it. And it just really wasn't a very pretty presentation. Um, so therefore, we had, obviously, we had the election last year and we had Olympics that were supposed to happen last year. So the patriotic theme was was birthed. And I would tell you that these these things are, these games are hot. The, the patriotic theme of games is really, really hot right now. So. Well, we, we've been lucky because we, we got a request for a patriotic theme. And we, uh, fortunately, we put some of this stuff into some different uh, suggestions over the last month. So it's been very timely. We must, have been, we must have been reading your mind. We do have another viewer question. I'll throw this one to you, Dan. What item is a must have for when you travel or go to the beach? Oh, well, that's easy, too. That's one that's easy for me. I uh, travel with my uh, Bose Revolve Plus everywhere I go. Uh, as you can probably see, this one's been through, uh, looks like a war zone here, but it still sounds unbelievable. Uh, my girls take it to hockey and listen to it in the, in the locker room all the time. We take it out on the boat, bring it to the beach. Uh, anytime we go away on vacation, we take it because we usually... Uh, like rent a house or something because I have a larger family. So uh, I would not go anywhere without it. And actually, there's a couple of nice dents on it here, Brian. You can watch it. <laughs> so uh, takes a licking and keeps on ticking this thing. This right. Great. Well, I think we're doing the audio through that speaker too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. Uh, anything else to unbox there? And, and while uh, you're doing it, Ke Kevin, are there any comments in the, uh, about, the, about the theme so far, Kevin? Uh, the only one I've really seen about the theme is go forth and grill and chill. Um, that's the only one about the theme. Grill and chill is another one. Uh, backyard fun. Um, so just a lot of the uh, idea of 4th of July and cookout backyard, which, uh, you know, we all know is popular now and has been since the pandemic. And I think will definitely remain to be that way as for a while. Right. How about oh, make the backyard so great again? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a good one. But I like Libby's. I like Libby. She says, go forth and grill, but she spells it F-O-U-R-T-H. That's awesome. Go forth and grill like the 4th of July. Oh, like wow. That. Okay, we, we, we got we to gotta unbox these last few things. And remember, viewers, go to incentiveconcepts.com slash unbox. What do you got there, Jeff? All right, we've got a, a patriotic large tumble tower. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with this. I just played it for the first time uh, a few weeks ago. It is a ton of fun. It's uh, you know similar to, to Jenga, as you've probably played before. Um, I believe this one 
is 54 blocks, uh, comes with a canvas carry bag, so it can probably uh, be decorated if you need it to be. Um, this is a fantastic unit. All different, you know, obviously the patriotic theme here. They also do make these in, in just plain wooden right. blocks. We quote these all the time. Uh, it's, it's very it's customized. Yeah, well. it fits in a lot of different uh, price points um, and, and, and categories. So uh, strong, Triumph is a strong brand, uh, great price point. And uh, again, just one of Escalade's uh, 20 plus brands. They have a lot to offer. It's a lot to, lot to learn. <laughs> okay. I'm still well, that... learning every day. I'll tell you what, <laughs> that game is my, of, of all the products that are in our portfolio, that literally is the go-to game for adult parties. Kids can play too, but as you can imagine, you can get real creative with, um, uh, with an adult game. But we play sure. that at gatherings all the time and it is fun okay it sure kevin, is Ke kevin powers keeps chirping you he says jeff is terrible at the tumble tower <laughs> <laughs> you got i don't know you guys need to like take jeff out for i meant sorry take take uh kevin out for a drink or something he's being yeah. mean to you guys he, he knows where i live yeah he knows okay all right okay welcome listen, in time, listen i don't think there's is there anything else in the box the boxes don't think so, Andy. Uh, okay, so let's let's do one more run through of everything. Uh, so just to show the viewers one more time, kind of what we got. Jeff, sure. you want to start? Doesn't matter what order we go in. Just go ahead and show us what we you got. got. The rally birdie set, similar to paddle ball, just with the uh, with the birdie helix birdies. Okay. And we have the bucket of uh, patriotic uh, bean bags. For you know, you can use these that replace the existing ones you have or lost. Uh, just a great, just something nice to have, especially if you play a lot of beanbag toss or cornhole. Uh, the tumble tower, patriotic tumble tower, and lastly, the Mr. Barbecue, Mr. Barbecue barbecue caddy. These are sold in case packs of two, by the way. Uh, great for casinos. Uh, low price points, loyalty programs, points programs. Uh, everyone can use one of these. Great item. Okay, and then Dan? Uh, sticking with the, the backyard fun, the monster ball, uh, volleyball, which just is a uh, uh, heavy duty, comes with a pump, fill it up with air, ready to go, have a lot of fun with it. This is the Nordic Wear Stars and Stripe Reversible Griddle. Uh, beautiful product. Um, and again, it's a great price point for uh, uh, casino programs, giveaways, um, so on and so forth, traffic builders. And uh, then you have your disc flyer game. Again, uh, a lot of fun, all ages, not a lot of heavy, uh, heavy lifting here. Easy to set up and uh, easy to play. All right. Excellent. And Gloria, thanks so much for being a surprise guest. Uh, by the hey, way, thanks Kevin- Thanks for having me. Kevin Powers says Jeff and Dan are great guys, just giving them a hard time. So they, he's just messing with you. But Gloria, any closing thoughts before we let you go? Uh, no, just uh, obviously there's there's a lot of products in that patriotic theme, along with the, the non-patriotic. So, I mean, you know, you could put together some kind of themed, obviously like a continuity program that you could have a different product, you know, every other week. So um, just a nice lineup of products and, you guys are awesome. Thank you for having me. Well, well, thank you for surprising us. And Kevin, any closing thoughts from your end? Uh, no, a great job, Dan, Jeff. You guys appreciate it very much. Um, a lot of these are decoratable. I'll just point that out as well. So contact us and let us know if you're looking for decoration on any of these. We can do that as well. Uh, as Gloria said, great continuity for casino programs. But, um, you know, there's a lot of options. Luckily, we do have some stock here. So I know that's always been an issue. Um, so make sure you contact us and, and ask us about what we've got in stock at what price points. And uh, we can definitely help you all out. But great job, Dan and Jeff. We appreciate your time today. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, thank everybody. You and by the way, the answer to the question was the number of impressions that a promotional product item on average receives in a month is 344. That uh, That's courtesy of... Uh, of, us, of, of Google. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's, uh, that's the number 344 per month. So it's a you know, great, great time to put your logo on something. Uh, two weeks from today, June 24th, we are announcing our newest brand and Gloria, you know, this brand, we are super excited. 
Rave Sports will be joining us on June 24th, 2.30 Eastern, 1.30 Central, uh, a water sports company with amazing products on, for the, your time on the lake or on the ocean or in the pool or whatever. So uh, definitely join us for that, incentiveconcepts.com slash live. Thank you, everybody. Dan and Jeff, thanks, guys, and have a great afternoon. Viewers, thank you so much. Remember, incentiveconcepts.com slash unbox to enter for these gifts. Uh, with that, that concludes it. We'll see you in two weeks. Dan and Jeff, thanks again. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.